Hey everyone, Jay here and we are looking at a box. <laughs> this is the Up to High uh, Steam Deck dock. It's a 6-in-1 dock. Let's open it up. Alright, so there it is. Very dramatic. So this is made out of aluminum. It's actually really sturdy. Um, and if you've been watching my channel, you know that I also um, showcase another dock. That one was made out of plastic. This is metal aluminum um, you have grip tapes here all around really nice you have your USB-C cable and also encased in metal very nice touch on the back you have your ports HDMI USB 3.0 times 3 on the side you also have an RJ45 Ethernet plug and USB-C power delivery so that you can charge the tablet um, while this while using this so we're gonna test um, the capabilities of the dock especially the HDMI port I actually have a 360 Hertz monitor that I wanted to see if I'm pretty sure it's not gonna run it on HDMI but let's test it out all right, so we have the up to high dock. Like I said, very sturdy, metal build. The bottom also has grip so that it won't move on the table. Has lots of ports and um, up to a high also has accessories like this. Steam Deck case. We'll pretend there's a Steam Deck there, but I don't have it at the moment. Um, but it's really well built and made for it. Um, there are tons of these on Amazon, but I really like, putting that aside, I really like this dock. Um, I will be using this uh, AOK A1 handheld, and this is also as thick as a Steam Deck with a case on it or with a skin. And as you can see, it fits perfectly on there. Um, so let's treat this as a dock. All right, as you can see on the table, we already have some cables waiting to be plugged in. Um, like I said, treating this as a bona fide dock, meaning we'll start off with the power cable. This is the A1 USB-C charger. Plugs in on the right side here, 100 watts. And then you have your HDMI cable. This is an Asus 360 hertz monitor. Um, HDMI uh, is limited to 144. 360 is going to be uh, through DisplayPort. And I'll actually show that, but that's the second part to the video. And then this delivers video um audio and you know data and power um, this is for my mic i'm not going to plug that in but this is a um, usb dongle for my wireless mouse and keyboard so again i'll just take up one usb a space and then let's plug in or place our tablet i called it a tablet a hand the handheld and plug in our USB-C cable and the monitor should detect the AOK Zoe A1. We have our mouse here and I changed the mouse uh, pointer size that's why it looks huge but as you can see we now have the A1 running as a regular desktop and if you want, add a keyboard to it. You now have a normal Windows computer. Um, going into this, going back to the dock, um, let me put this out of the way. So the dock can do, um, and I'm gonna look into the limitations, but it looks like it can do 144 Hertz. And to be honest, that might be the HDMI cable. So it's able to do, this is a 1080p screen, 
able to do 144 hertz. Um, let's try the UFO test. And you'll see this in 60 hertz, obviously, but 144 on a nice 1080p like this is smooth. But like I said, this is a 360 hertz display. So now the dock will actually leave the conversation and the display port cable will enter the chat. I can't believe I just said that. All right, so this video was really to focus on the dock and we've done our part. It's a nice dock, works perfectly well. It's charging our device right there. And HDMI works perfectly fine. Um, the one limitation that I said is the 144 hertz as well as no free sync. So free sync is um, normally through DisplayPort anyhow. Uh, the newer HDMI versions can support it. But in this regard, this display only supports it through DisplayPort. So going back to what I said earlier, this is my DisplayPort cable. And we have another accessory, which is the TomTalk USB-C to DisplayPort adapt, uh, adapter. And it actually does 8K 60 Hertz, but obviously it's not gonna do that here. But the good thing about that is we know that it's, it has high bandwidth to it. So it looks like this. I will plug it into my DisplayPort cable that's connected to the back of uh, this monitor. Bye bye dock and I'm gonna replace it with this. All right, so now it's running through DisplayPort and I lost my mouse because I unplugged the dock. dock. So now I have to plug it on top of the handheld and voila. So going back to this, we now have that's RSR, let's go to display. We now have um, adaptive sync capability. So uh, VRR, variable refresh rate, there it is, it's enabled. And going back to our UFO test, on the left, it'll say 360 frames per second. Um, like I said, you're watching this in 60 frames per second, but in person, even the second one here looks so smooth, but the top one is just, it's the bee's knees. Um, why does that matter? Well, because now you've turned your handheld into a VRR machine, meaning a lot of these games that can go over, you know, 60 Hertz, which is the limitation on this screen, it can now um, go up even up to, up to 360 Hertz. I mean, obviously none of these are gonna reach that, but now you have VRR keeping things smooth on the gameplay. And instead of just talking about it, why don't I show you? All right, so I have Dragon Age Inquisition and I'm gonna use the PS5 controller so I can control it off camera. Um, I will turn off V-Sync It was actually off, but as you can see, it can see that I'm running a 360 hertz monitor. Um, I want to go over 60, so I'm going to set everything to low. And the frame rate that you're looking at at the corner, 59, 60, that's actually um, how much it it runs on the, the device itself. So 60 is a nice target. Um, but now I'm running over 60, 90, and since I'm on this monitor, it's gonna play really smooth. 
Uh, it will fluctuate based on what I do. Um, well, we went into the 30s there. Oh, I know why. Because I'm actually not even plugged in. And my battery level wasn't that great to begin with. So, so right now we're really just running off of battery. I'm gonna turn up the fan speed here. So that we can keep our frame rate. Let's get into some combat and let's see how much the frame rate fluctuates. But really my main point of showing you guys this is that I'm not going to be seeing or, or noticing the, you know, the tearing and dips. Get down. All right. So really that's it for the video. Um, I really just wanted to showcase the up to high well, AOK -okay Zoe A1 dock <laughs> and you know just how well it would run onto a monitor um, it does all of those fairly well and what else uh, and I also showed you how to uh, use a you know USB-C to display port adapter so that you can actually take advantage of FreeSync if your monitor supports that. I guess the one last thing is what if we want to use the dock and keep the USB-C adapter? Um, so I'm finding this out as I'm making this video, but I'm going to unplug this up here. What I'll do is I'll unplug the HDMI from the dock. I will charge it and I want to see if there's video out from the bottom. Okay, there's no video out from the bottom. But we can charge from the bottom. Just don't want to break this cable, that's why. And of course, I can't have it sitting on there. So if you manage to find a way to keep this steady, it's charging it from the bottom and video out from the top. Yeah, that's, we're not going to do that. Um, but at least it's a workaround. All right, so until they make a, and I hope they do, USB-C um, DisplayPort Steam Deck dock, meaning I can plug into the video out here and have power um, and have display port capability so we have a variable refresh rate aka free sync for AMD um, until they do that we really have the limitation of HDMI so 144 Hertz is still nice um, it's just that the, uh, for these kinds of you know I, guess, I would say low powered compared to desk, real desktops anyway. Um, FreeSync really helps with the fluctuating frame rates. Uh, that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Let me know what you think. Bye.